Hey guys, so today this is my time for Insta360 Fleur review. And you have been waiting for a while, but it's worth it because I have a new phone, a brand new, the latest Android phone, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And yes, this is going to be one of those few Android phone review together with Insta360 Flow. And even with the normal, you know, case back on, because with a mobile phone, you would usually use the mobile phone case, right? And the magnetic phone holder, it definitely works with my S23 Ultra with a phone case and mind you this s23 ultra it is one of the biggest phones out there now let's get started with shooting the first reason why i think insta360 flow is the best travel gimbal out there is that it's compact it's just palm size smaller than my phone it can easily go into a handbag in its compact body it has everything that you need for vlogging extending selfie stick tripod once extended, the tripod actually covers a wide area, so it's surprisingly stable in different terrains. And this magnetic is so convenient, I can just turn it off and take the magnetic off and use a mobile phone as they are. And the best feature is that it does tracking by just clicking one button at the back on the trigger button. And here I am, you guys can see that I'm starting to get tracked inside the app of Insta360. If you guys are one woman studio or one man studio like me, then you can actually turn on the gesture mode. If I'm standing sort of at the side, I would start the gesture mode and it instantly recognizes me and puts me in the center of the frame. And you know, don't go way too far, but stay within and it actually smoothly follows me around. Let me actually run. This is the actual recording from Insta360 app and look how smooth the tracking is. DeepTrack 3.0 is next-gen subject tracking. It's awesome. So here I'm walking around by the trees but it can re-identify me even if I'm blocked by the tree. Okay, let me go behind the tree again. And yes, I am back on the track. Insta360 Flow can even follow the back of my head very well. Insta360 Flow can also do all angle tracking, which means Flow can recognize a subject from all angles and keep tracking. So whether I'm moving or the subject is moving, the gimbal will still stay tracking. Also useful for time shift mode. And I'm sure you can imagine taking this kind of video in your holiday. This is widescreen mode at 0.7 times. It's extra wide, so it's beautiful and what i love about deep track 3.0 is that it does all the filming while you mind your own business like walking and i can really just focus only on walking because tracking is done automatically with the app the third reason why i think this insta360 flow is amazing is that it has such an unbelievably easy control of use so everything can be done with just one thumb so let me guys show you how easy it is. So first, let me start recording myself. So I just press the shutter button. And if I want to start tracking myself, then all I need to do is actually press the trigger button. And here I am tracking so I can sort of move around. And yes, you are tracking me totally fine. If I want to stop tracking myself, then all I need to do is just press once more trigger button. If I want to switch the camera because I really want to show you guys the beautiful view of the sea, then all I need to do is just Yes, just one click and you are seeing the beautiful view. And if I were to turn around to selfie mode, then here I am. So you can get as many interesting shots as possible. If I just double click, then it will turn into a vertical. Right now I'm in the auto, but if I want to actually change, if I want to change in follow mode, pan follow mode, FPV mode, then I can do so with just a touch of the thumb. And you can go back as well. And if I want to just zoom in, then I can do so. And you'll be amazed how good the app is when it comes to zooming in. So right now, just 4.6 times. So let me just keep on scrolling. So all you need to do is just scroll to the side. And yes, 10 times. Wow, did you see a fish over there just now? 
I just got two fish at 10 times zoom. Great quality using smartphone camera. The smart wheel zooms in as well as out so you get the wide angle view as well. The great thing about Insta360 Flow is that while you're moving, while you have the cameraman, you can actually get a variety of shots with just one thumb. And while you're dancing for YouTube Shorts or TikTok, then you can get a very interesting shot. At FPV mode, with the smart wheel, there is something interesting that you can do. A little bit of an inception mode. As you can see with Insta360, you can control everything with just one thumb. One thing to say, if you actually go into 1080p, if you're more into like beautifying yourself, then you have the beauty mode here. So I'm gonna turn it on to show you a little bit of difference. Yes, this is me on the beauty mode. So for anyone who wants to beautify the skin while you're shooting the video and so on, then you can turn that on. So right now I'm inside the app here. Hello. And it is a very, very windy day. But I'm really surprised by the performance of Insta360 Flow. So since I'm inside the app, there are so many different interesting functions out there. So here below you can see there are so many different menus but first i'm going to show you because this is from insta360 you definitely want to try out 360 degree photo and i have this massive samsung galaxy s23 ultra but no problem because i have now completely mastered it so the first thing that you do is actually take off the cover so right now you can see this beautiful mobile phone naked on insta360 flow and just stand it on a place where it's not too windy, not too crazy windy. And also make sure that you stand it in a place where the surrounding object is not too windy either. So we're just gonna go into the panel photo mode that you can see and just click. And it tells you the exact instruction, the lower horizontal reverse phone position and retry, which may lose balance, but don't worry. All I need to do is sort of stand it up, double click, and then it will be back on the balance. Off I go. I'm just gonna press the shutter button and sort of stand still, smile. Okay, now it's taking the rest of the surroundings so I can actually talk and move around. It is shooting a beautiful photo because it's actually using a mobile phone. This is the resulting 360 degree photo. The quality is really good because 18 photos are stitched up together. You can zoom in and out, make use of any angle that you wish. But my favorite panoramic photo is actually using the wide angle mode that you can see here, wide angle. So now I'm just gonna quickly turn the phone into the horizontal mode. Otherwise I'm gonna look really tall here. And then recenter, double click the trigger button stitching works perfectly while I'm holding selfie stick like this and I don't think I have a really stable arm but it totally works fine because of the technology inside Insta360 app so I'm gonna press the shutter button and here we go <laughs> The photo came out really nicely even though it's windy as you can see my hair flying everywhere this 9x9 stitching photo works perfectly still i'm inside the app and you have more functions such as time lapse and also there's time shift if you don't have a lot of time you want to make an interesting video of you walking taking a journey then you can do so with time shift the widescreen mode. Don't I already look more cinematic in this widescreen view? I'm just gonna put myself on lock mode by actually long pressing the trigger button and take some beautiful video and also actually changing the different gimbal modes. widescreen mode you can of course turn into selfie as well by using the back camera the best camera of your phone by actually pressing the trigger button three times to turn the phone around yay we now turn to live mode which is very interesting especially if you are a streamer once you switch on the live mode then you can go into any other social media app and then you can utilize the trigger button to track yourself and here is an example i did live on youtube 
it's unlisted. You can see how successfully the phone is tracking my face. So Insta360 Flow is like having another cameraman. There are so many different functions on Insta360 app that I cannot tell you everything, but this is worth mentioning, the Shot Genie. It actually recommends you what kind of shot you can take. So let me see what it's recommending when I'm walking in the park. So this is like having a director on your hand. It's exactly telling you what shot you need to get. So here it says start with a low angle and then you get this beautiful effect. And you can turn to the second shot and it tells you exactly what shot to get. And the fifth reason why I think Insta360 Flow is the best travel gimbal in 2023 is because it does come up with those little details that you need as a travel vlogger and so on. For example, there is cold shoe mount if you want to stick your microphone inside a gimbal and also there is a spotlight if you are filming in indoor or in dark setting it's very small so it's very convenient to carry around and there are three steps to light intensity and here's my face as a guinea pig and the white light can also turn into warm light inside flow it is equipped with 2900 mAh battery pack and with a cable as well so if you need to charge your phone you can do so with insta360 flow while you're using the gimbal and because i love using this gimbal with my new phone i'm gonna come back with more videos on insta360 flow so if you have any questions please let me know in the comments down below and also don't forget to check out the link down below for more information on the price and so on for insta360 flow and see you